Hi, I'm Megan and today we'll be talking with John about landscaping tips for sellers. Hi John, it's nice to have you with us today. Hello Megan, thanks for the opportunity. Sure. So if a seller has put a lot of work into their landscaping, is there something specifically that they should do for prospective buyers? If they've put a lot of effort into it, they probably were working off of some type of a landscape drawing or plan. And It doesn't have to be a formal drawing, but if they had something, even if it was scratched out on the menu, that they could leave behind for a prospective buyer, that would be really helpful. Along with that, having a photo of the yard and annotating that with plant ID, that would also be a good substitute if they don't have a formal drawing. So if a seller wants to do something to the house, but a buyer might come in and rip it up anyways, do you have suggestions for what they might do that would make it beneficial? I usually discourage people from putting a lot of money into buying immature trees and shrubs and putting it into a landscape because there are so many individual tastes and variations that the prospective buyer could you know, rip it out. So how important is the view from the street or the curb appeal? You know, subconsciously I think curb appeal is always operating and there are different statistics in terms of how much value uh, a nice landscape adds to the, you know, price or value of a home. But the things that a homeowner can do to sell their place, uh, other than putting in a lot of immature trees and shrubs, is to go with some annuals or perennials. The other thing that is very important is to make sure that all the beds are weeded, uh, all the shrubs are trimmed. This way the place has a nice neat appearance. The other thing that's very inexpensive to do is to put down some fresh bark mulch. That tends to freshen up the whole area. It makes it look relatively new and it also actually sets off the plants, existing plants, and accents them a little bit better. Good to know. So a lot of sellers wonder if putting in underground sprinkling is a good investment. Do you have any tips for them? You know, I wouldn't put it in as a way to sell the house because it may not match what the prospective buyer has in terms of landscaping. Um, and those are typically very costly. Irrigation systems are typically very costly. Well, that's all very helpful information. Thank you so much for being with us today, John. You're welcome, Megan. Sellers, it sounds like you've got homework, so get out your drawing pads and your cameras. We'll be talking again with you soon.